have some new information now about a Nantucket mother accused of killing her little girl. Investigators believe the mom may have been trying to rid her three-year-old of demons. Sarah Underwood is live in Hyannis tonight. And Sarah, you spent the day on Nantucket. Yeah, I spent most of today on Nantucket, and I spoke to so many people on the island, including many people who knew this family pretty well, and they say they just can't make sense of this. And when they describe this three-year-old little girl, it just breaks your heart. They say she was so happy, content. She loved to go to work with her mom, and she loved to help take care of her baby brother. This is unbelievable. I mean, people are talking about it on the island, but it's, it's something that you... You know, it's gut-wrenching. You really don't want to talk about it. All around the quaint island of Nantucket, residents are whispering about this woman, 26-year-old Dora Tejada, and the heinous crime she's accused of, suffocating her three-year-old daughter, Nicole, to death. According to court documents, she either forced a rose or her own fist down Nicole's throat to ward off the devil. God told her to do it. It's tragic. It really is. It, it could happen at all. Really sad. Again, a three-year-old girl is not here no more uh, with a hopeful life ahead of her. Police rushed to the scene on Pine Tree Road Monday afternoon following several 911 calls in which one caller stated, I think the mom died. Uh killed the daughter. And once police arrived, they found little Nicole lying unresponsive on a table surrounded by several pink-colored rose petals on the living room floor. Residents who live near the murder scene say this is a tight-knit community, this little area right around the airport, that most of the people who live here are year-rounders, and they say they cannot believe that something so shocking could happen right here. Well, I know the people that own the house and the people that owned it before that, and um, you know it's always been a, a wonderful house, and now it almost just has a curse on it, you know, to have such a tragedy to happen in it. I mean, I couldn't, I, I couldn't see wanting to to be in the house again. I mean, it's 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 really awful. And according to the DA, the mother who is from El Salvador was taken to a hospital in Taunton for a mental evaluation. That evaluation could take as many as 40 days. Live in Hyannis, Sarah Underwood, Fox 25 News. Sarah,